come and take a look with us around the Westphalia left hand drive. So I am Keely. I'm a buyer here at We Buy in a Motor Caravan. Got something really exciting for you guys today. Got the Westphalia Kepler One. So this is based on the VW T6. Really interesting thing about the Kepler One is they only make left-hand drives. So there is the Kepler Six, which is a right-hand drive, but the one we've got today is uh, the left-hand drive. Again, great for driving on the continent. So just on the outside, you've got your Fiamma F35 Pro all in, great for when you're on site, easily retractable. So if you are using this as your vehicle, which most people will on a VW, just whack your awning in, off you go. As you can see, pop top, we'll talk a little bit more about that when we take a look inside later. Uh, so this is a four berth, four belt, because you've got two on the top, two that make up your seats downstairs to make a double bed downstairs. Coming round to the back, you've obviously got your Westphalia logo there, which really sets it aside from a normal VW conversion. You've also got on the back here, you've got your reversing camera, which is just under here, easy to miss. You've also got your two um, fuel bike rack here. So something really great about the Kepler One is that it actually has a full bathroom inside. So come and take a look. So as I said before, you've got a full bathroom in the back. So you've got your toilet here, your cassette toilet. You've also, underneath here, got a shower tray, which you're not gonna get on many VWs of this size, a toilet and a shower. Something else really great about this uh, VW is the amount of storage in here. You could go away for months at a time to Europe, France, Spain, Italy, because you've got so much storage in here. You've just got little little bits here and there. Here's your cassette toilet. You've got all your little bits and bobs. So we'll show you a little bit more of that when we go inside. So here you find me in the bathroom. I mean, if you're gonna go to the toilet in here, I probably would recommend closing the back. You don't want people looking at you while you're having a wee. Something else, if you go in this cupboard here, you've actually got your door for uh, the bathroom. So it just enables you to have that little bit of privacy from people if they're sat in the front eating the dinner, need a way in the back. You've got your wardrobe in here as well. Again, with the storage, you've got so much in here, so that's your hanging area. Um, you have also got in here. Again, here's your little fridge, which is great. Good size fridge for the size of the, the motorhome that it is. So your cassette toilet here, which I'm sat on, is 19 litres. Uh, so plenty of, of room in there. And as you saw before, that's how you empty it just from the side. Really convenient, really easy. As I mentioned before, you've got your pop top. So this is up at the moment, which obviously gives you so much space in here. I mean, I'm not a giant, but I can easily move around in here, easily stand up. Uh, you've got your lovely little windows here as well. So if you are out and about, you can just open them up, just gives you that more natural light. Again, you've got your fridge here. Underneath your fridge, you've got even more storage. I mean, look at all this, these drawers in here. It's actually amazing for a VW, the amount of storage that you've got in here. I just think it's, it's, it's what sets a Westphalia aside from, from other standard conversions. You've got in here as well. So here's where your cushions are for your makeup bed. So they're really nicely stored as well. They're not under your seat. You've not got to keep them on the, the pop top bed during the day. They're just really convenient in the cupboard. So yeah, moving forward into the kitchen, you have got your two ringed hob here. Really great about this as well, it comes with gas low, uh, so it actually comes with your refillable gas. Again, I think that's part of it being the left-hand drive because you are gonna drive this over sort of France, Spain, um, or that's what they're thinking. So having that refillable gas is gonna be so much easier over there than lugging um, gas bottles around. You've got your little sink here. So you've got 50 litres of fresh water that you can carry on here. You've also got 36 litres of wastewater. Again, I keep saying it, but for a VW, that is a lot of, of water storage that you've got on board. Again, same throughout the whole um, camper van, just storage, just masses of it. Probably too much storage. Probably more storage in this than you see in some coach built motorhomes, which, you know, it's, it's saying something really. So yeah, you've got all your drawers. They're soft touch as well. I mean, th this is what you get from a Westphalia as different to sort of a, a standard converter from down the road, Gary down the road converting. You're not gonna get the little touches like that. So I think, you know, you, bu you buy quality and that is what you get in with a Westphalia. Something I've just found, the best thing in this whole camper van, 
a mirror. <laughs> Perfect height. Here is also your shower. So this clips on to here. So you've got your shower. So it just clips onto there. Then you've got your shower. But yeah, mirror, what a lovely touch. Could put all my makeup in here, my hair brushes. It'd be great. Perfect height as well. So where I am sitting now is the main sort of living dining area in the Westphalia. This is where you get your two extra boats from. So you've got your passenger driver, two passengers in the back. This is also where you make up your four berths. So you've got two above, two here. Really nice thing about this is obviously it's L-shaped at the moment, but you can move all these around. So it's really versatile with whoever you've got in here. You can move things around. You could put one here to make it a longer bench, put one here to put your feet on. It is really sort of versatile with, with what you can do in here. Um, something else really nice about this one um, is it's got the cream leather upgrade. Again, a nice touch, easily wipeable. I just think the light coloured leather with the light floor, light wood, but with the dark accents in the wood, I just think it makes it look really classy and expensive. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of this, really like it. Now we are in the cab. As I said before, the thing that sets the Kepler 1 aside from the rest of the Westphalia range is that it only comes in a left-hand drive. So obviously, you know, Heather drove this beautifully. I don't know how I'd feel about driving a left-hand drive, but I guess it's something that you get used to. And if you are driving abroad, I suppose this is exactly what you'd want. A nice touch from Westphalia is having the Westphalia logo on the seats. Again, like I said earlier, you, you probably will pay a little bit more for this, but I think you're getting quality. And just little touches like that really make it. So this one here, we have got, it's on the uh, seven speed DSG automatic gearbox. Again, with the Kepler one only comes in an automatic, so you can't have a manual choice. I think that's partly to do with it being the left-hand drive, just easier for, for mooching around. Um, so the cab's really great. This is a two litre diesel, really nice to drive, um, lovely to drive. So the guys who, who collected this said it was amazing to drive back. Um, so yeah, this is all, all in all, um, a lovely, lovely little camper van. Um, I say little, it's very spacious in the back, but a really compact size. So you're looking at just a smidgen over 5.3 meters in length, and you're looking just under two meters wide and high. So really easy for driving around in cities, down country lanes. So it's a really great compact size, but you are getting everything that you would get in a coach built, but you're getting it in a camper van. So yeah, we're in the Westphalia Kepler 1, which is one of many ranges of the Westphalias. They're not cheap. You are looking above 75,000 for uh, one of these standard. And then obviously you've got all your extras on top. Uh, but I do think you, you pay for what you get, you know, you, you're paying for that quality, you're paying for the name. Um, but yeah, I think for me as a VW, this layout is probably one of the best I've seen. Um, I like that it's got the toilet because who wants to be running across a campsite at three o'clock in the morning if you need a wee? Um, it's like I say, compact size, but it's so spacious in here. You've got loads of room for eating and dining, loads of room in your, your bathroom area. You've also obviously got your pop top, which you can have up in the day, down at night for sleeping. You don't even need to, if there's only two of you, you don't even need to make the bed up down here because you could just use up there. All in all, for me, it is a, a resounding yes. Um, I would recommend them, especially if you want in that left hand drive. I think it is a great van. Um, it's got everything you would need to spend two, three months abroad. That is about it from me. Um, if you like what you've seen, like, subscribe. We're on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube.